The lightweight division belongs to Charles Oliveira. Wow. Charles Oliveira, the Brazilian, is the new UFC lightweight champion. This is a young man that does nothing wrong. Everything is perfect. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most phenomenal UFC fighters, athletes, and an amazing human being. This man has shown us time and again that with dedication, hard work, and determination, you can achieve the greatest of all heights. And no mountain is big enough to conquer if sheer will and resilience are the driving forces in your life. We are talking about the man who our generation is lucky to see in action, and the man who just displays exquisite magic and class in every fight, and that is not none other than Charles Oliveira. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it with facts about his early life, training, and other tea. Number 6. Who is Charles Oliveira? Charles Oliveira is a UFC fighter who was born in Guarujá, Sao Paulo, Brazil. He is trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and began his training at the tender age of 12. He won his first title back in 2003 as a white belt and was awarded his black belt in 2010 under Erickson Cardoso and Jorge Patino Macaco. Now we know why he portrays such great form and class in the octagon. When I was the team, I said that I would improve in everything. My Jiu-Jitsu is more and more... Sempre mais ágil, indo pra cima. Pô, tô treinando muito Muay Thai, muito boxe, a parte do MMA, então graças a Deus tá dando resultado. Jiu-Jitsu for the win, guys! Charles Oliveira and his wife have a daughter named Taylor, who was born in 2017. Number 5. His Early Life Charles Oliveira started as an amateur and gradually moved up to his professional MMA career in his home country, Brazil, in 2007. He recorded and compiled a record-breaking score of 12-0, in which there were six knockouts and five submissions. He has also compiled multiple wins on the same night. Charles Oliveira made his professional debut in MMA at the Predator FC9 Welterweight Grand Prix event in March 2008, where he defeated and battered Jackson Ponce in the first round with the use of a submission also called a rear naked choke. He then advanced to the second stage in which he was paired up with Viscardi Andrade on the same night. He won the second stage of the fight via TKO via punches. He then advanced to the third stage and the third fight of the night to take down Diego Braga via TKO punches and eventually won all of the fights in the same night. In 2008, after defeating Mehdi Baghdad, Charles Oliveira defeated two more of his opponents, namely Daniel Fernandez and Aline Silva, by battering them with KO and TKO punches, respectively. In the course of the next few months, he submitted three of his opponents, including Adrade Pezera, and won a split decision in his bout with Eduardo Pachu. In February 2010, he again competed in two fights on the same night, where he defeated Rosalindo Rocha through submission via rear naked choke and Diego Battaglia through KO slam in the first and second rounds, respectively. <laughs> Number 4 Training. Charles Oliveira is very disciplined when it comes to his training, where he has a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Impressive, isn't it? Now we know for a fact how he gets such a good track record in his fights. Mindset and discipline are huge. Charles Oliveira's road to the top was under the watchful and keen eye of his head coach, Diego Lima, under Shootbox in Sao Paulo. He has since become accustomed to training in Houston, Texas, and Sao Paulo, which has increased his fluidity. He has been associated with the Macacao Gold Team, where he trains for Jiu-Jitsu under the ace Jorge Patino Macacao. É aquilo, a gente vê pela TV os caras ser campeão, se consagrarem, e é um sonho de todos nós. E ter um irmão da gente, um parceiro de equipe, que treina junto, realizar esse sonho, é sem palavras, é, é, é algo... He trains very heavily with all his top team for coaches and is a sure shot to win more matches in the future. Charles Oliveira has the advantage of training with the same set of people and coaches for years at a time. He has made it clear that he values the expertise that has been passed on by his trainers. He has stated in his interviews that he is thankful for the team of coaches that he has because they are his family. He also made it clear that when he started, he felt like a boy among lions, but now he feels like a lion among lions. Hey, no arguments here. Então a minha estratégia é que eu entro aqui para vencer. É como eu falo. Vocês querem um cara que fique falando, que deixou falando, não coloque eu para sentar aqui não. Vocês querem ver show, coloque o dentro do octógono. Dentro do octógono eu dou show. I I always fight aggressive. I always walk forward. If you want somebody that's going to come and talk, I'm the wrong person. 
I give put on the show inside the octagon. That's what I do. Number three, controversies. In UFC Live 4, Charles Oliveira's outstanding performance got shrouded in controversy. On fight night, he was dominant from the start against his opponent Lentz, all thanks to his Brazilian jiu-jitsu moves and kicks that helped him garner a strong lead against an equally strong opponent. Audrey Bronx gave Lentz a very tough fight, where Lentz had no answers on his feet as well as on the ground against the very offensive and attacking arsenal of Charles Oliveira. But unfortunately, an illegal knee by Oliveira changed the fever and momentum of the octagon. Rolls him over, he's on top. And again, oh, no, no knee. illegal knee. That yep. was an illegal knee. He had a knee down. That was In the post-match press conference, Charles Oliveira was questioned about the illegal knee to the downed opponent. Joe Rogan stated that they will review the strike once again, and although a very mesmerizing win by Charles Oliveira, he became a subject of controversy in the said fight. The submission win was later overturned to a no contest due to the illegal knee. Downed opponent to the head. Clearly. Lentz was a downed opponent here. So the commission has the ability to review and change the ruling and the outcome of the official decision. Fun fact, Du Bronx, our very own Charles Oliveira, has been very hardworking and efficient since a very young age. He used to sell cheese salads with his mother from a, a trailer? Wow. He used to work with her, and this line of work gave him the opportunity to meet a lot of people that trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Initially, he did not make enough money to pay his fees, but he got through with the help of his uncle's reference. Fighting and competing in the UFC professionally was a dream that Du Bronx carried with him as a child, and through his strong willpower and immense dedication, he is where he is today, a I'm champion. I'm in community, in favela, né? Poder ver vários rostos aqui. Viro desde moleque, pessoas que eu sempre escutaram eu falar que eu ia ser campeão do mundo, que ia ser o melhor do Brasil e chegou, chegou o dia, tô sonhado. Pô, feliz, é uma sensação que você sabe, você não sabe se você chora, se você dá risada, você não sabe o que você faz, isso é real. In high school, he got his first fighting opportunity and there has been no stopping him since. He got his name to Bronx because at the training center he was always recognized as a kid from the favelas, also known as Bronx in Portuguese, and that name stuck with him forever. Number 2. Most Famous Fights Charles Oliveira has been a golden boy since the very beginning of his career. His fight at UFC 262 was a delight to watch because Charles Oliveira roared the loudest after breaking two phenomenal all-time UFC records that night. Yes, you heard that right. Charles Oliveira became the undisputed champion of the UFC lightweight category and the new king of his division. He secured a TKO win against his opponent Michael Chandler and in doing so broke not one but two records. He set the record for the most finishes in the history of UFC where he garnered 17 finishes to his name, breaking the phenomenal record of Donald Cowboy Carone. Du Bronx also set the record for the most number of fights needed to win a promotion, which was previously held by Michael Bisping, who fought 26 fights before winning the title. Du the Bronx surpassed it by fighting 28 times before he lifted that golden belt that every UFC fighter dreams of having in their hands one day. Charles Oliveira has evidently spent years and years working his way up to the top, and when the opportunity finally arrived at his door, he did not hesitate. He reached out and grabbed it. He has accumulated a lot of experience at just the young age of 31 years, and has overcome all the adversities that ever came his way. They say whatever you do, do it in style. Now Charles Oliveira has done just that and set an example and strong benchmark for his future opponents. He has given notice to everybody inside and outside the octagon to remember his name. You're the new UFC lightweight champion in the world. Obrigado, Houston. Olha só, eu sou brasileiro, mas esse cinturão é todo nosso. Eu falei, eu era um menino meu dos leões, eu sou um favelado que venceu na vida. Obrigado, nunca desista dos seus sonhos. Se você tem fé, vai, vai acontecer. Obrigado. Thank you, Houston. Thank you, Brazil. This belt is for all of us. Number one, distinguishing quality. They say it makes a person truly amazing when he doesn't forget his roots. Charles Oliveira is a prime example of that. Charles Oliveira has grown up in poverty and has come a long way from not being able to pay the fees of his training in his initial younger years of training for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to being an undisputed champion in the octagon. He has a social project under his name that he has set in the city of Guarujá, whose main motive is to keep the kids away from the life of crime and off the streets, and to shape their minds 
Americans and future in a better way to keep them on the right path. Por isso que cada vez mais eu quero ajudar eles, não quero nada em troca, só quero ajudar, 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 ajudar mesmo. So this is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Like and share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel to show your support, and hit the bell notification to never miss an update from our side. Until next time, stay tuned. Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen.